Hello everyone and welcome back to Top Welding. Today we are finally presenting the TIG welders in direct current from the brand ESAB. Let's talk about the ESAB ROG ET181IP and the ESAB ROG ET201IP Pro. Both are single phase 230 volt welders that can work with coated electrode MMA using all types of electrodes, including rutile, basic, stainless steel, cast iron, and even cellulosic electrodes. Oh, regarding TIG welding, they use direct current so we can primarily weld mild steel and stainless steel. It is not possible to weld aluminum. The two welding machines have 180 amperes of maximum current for the smaller one and 200 amperes for the more powerful model. The ET181 has a duty cycle of 60% at approximately 115 amperes and the ET201 IP Pro has approximately 130 amperes at 60%. Both welders are supplied with their 3 meter power cables. And with a Shuko plug, we have the safety manual with the strap for carrying the welder over the shoulder and a grounding clamp with a 3 meter cable and a TSK50 connection, a gas tube with quick connector 4 meters and a torch 26 complete with consumables of 2.4 millimeters 4 meters for this one too clearly with the button in fact we can see the button connection and the gas connection here it is on the back here of the cable i forgot a technical aspect that differentiates the two welders the ROG ET201 IP Pro is equipped with the PFC system, a device we are now familiar with which allows for reduced power consumption from the power supply and enables the welder to be connected even with considerably long extension cords. Let's go and see the welder's control panel. First, on the left, we select the welding process, in this case, electrode welding MMA with a maximum current of 200 amperes because this is uh, the welder ET201. In this case, we can press this button for two seconds and adjust three different functions. The first is the hot start, which means the starting voltage that can always range from minus 10 to plus 10, something already seen on other ESAB products that extra voltage for a great start. If we press again, we have the arc force, the force of the arc during welding to prevent, for example, the arc from shutting down always from minus 10 to plus 10. Otherwise, we have the selection. Regarding the cellulose electrode, as you know, the electrode for pipelines is quite unique. If I quickly press the right button instead, I can either activate or not the MMA pulsed welding. As you can see, I turn it on and in the function below HZ, I can adjust the frequency which means the alternating of the two pulsed MMA currents. Uh, it's an interesting feature to have less deformation of the piece or for example when welding vertically. Well, when I go to set this pulse frequency within the functions I showed you earlier, we will also find the background current, therefore the current, the second pulse current to be set clearly with respect to the first. As for TIG welding, on the left I can select the process with HF ignition, high frequency or lift ignition by touching the tungsten on the piece. On the right, I have the option to select two strokes, only two strokes or four strokes that you are well aware of. Here I can select the pulsed TIG and consequently, as you saw earlier in the pulsed MMA, below on Hertz, I go to adjust the frequency. In pulse DC TIG, the frequency can reach up to a maximum of 500 Hertz. If we instead press this button for a couple of seconds, we enter the classic curve of all TIG functions. 
So uh, here it is. I have to make it blink after two seconds and I find the pre-gas, the start current, the ramp up time in seconds, the ramp down time in seconds, the end of ramp current, the post gas, so the gas time after welding and if I had set it up on the pulse TIG I would also have the regulation of the background current so the second current of the pulse I'm showing you a small detail that I hadn't um, pointed out to you before. As you can see here, we usually connect the torch button connector and the gas connector. And we see, however, that there is a square with an arrow indicating that here we can also connect on both models a remote control with a potentiometer for the MMA electrode welder and a remote control with the pedal for TIG welding. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, topwelding.com is available if you need any technical information before or after your purchase. Goodbye and see you next time. Bye.